Bitcoin exactly pushed towards the upside like we've been predicting, but don't get fooled right now in this exact region right here because I am currently seeing something that most are not seeing and I will be explaining this on today's update video. So without any further ado guys, on today's video I will be explaining the most important data points, the most important ETF flows and many more important charts. So without any further ado, don't forget to slap that like button back above 800 likes. That will be absolutely incredible and with that being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content. So yes, we can straight away see Bitcoin has been pushing up straight away higher and I first of all want to be discussing the ETF flows because yesterday we saw another 339 million US dollars worth of Bitcoin flowing in towards the market through these Bitcoin spot ETF issuers and basically this is the first time that we are seeing a little bit of a slowdown in terms of inflow trend here and that is very important to pay attention towards because yes, if we're going to see a trend reversal in ETF flows that could potentially mean something for the price section of Bitcoin. But as long as we're seeing such high amounts of inflows towards the spot Bitcoin ETF, I am expecting that Bitcoin is still going to be going higher from off this point. Also, BlackRock currently owns 5.4 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin and they're really starting to be coming close to potentially overtake Michael Saylor because Michael Saylor currently owns 9.9 .9 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin. But let me right now jump in towards the charts because looking at the charts yesterday we were looking at this breakout we saw this massive continuation upwards what has exactly been playing out here but currently if we're looking at the rsi we can start to see that bitcoin is creating somewhat of a uh, slowdown in terms of momentum higher highs lower highs on the rsi I, I think that that is not all too interesting in my opinion but what i find interesting is that for early time frame where bitcoin is going of course absolutely exponential it is going absolutely exponential and i want to be pointing out here is that there are some risks with an exponential rally first of all you're getting very euphoric so you feel like oh it's only going to go up and it's not going to stop anytime soon and the second biggest risk out of a uh, parabolic run up towards the upside is of course that a parabolic run up always ends with a massive correction and that is a thing that always tend to be happening i mean here we also saw a very strong parabolic rally towards the upside and then we had a significant rally of an about what is it five thousand dollars towards the towards the downside and of course you do not want to be missing that move towards the downside and i want to be pointing out is that indeed i am very bullish on the etf flows on bitcoin only right now we're starting to see a little bit of a lower inflow towards the etf so maybe this is telling us something about what is to be happening next year in the market but one of the most important things maybe is that yesterday genesis cleared court to sell 1.3 billion US dollars worth of gbtc shares so once again i want to be pointing out because sometimes people just uh, don't understand what i'm trying to say here i am just pointing out the facts in the market and yes i am not necessarily bearish and if bitcoin were to be going higher i would definitely benefit massively from it because i'm completely long with my spot position but i want to be pointing out there are some risks in the market and i am a trader and i want to be opening up my next trade and for my next trade to be opened i want to be seeing a little bit of a retracement and a little bit of a better opportunity for me to be opening up my next position so if i'm also looking at the liquidation heat map there's no liquidity being built up on the top side only on the lower side so what am i doing i've currently not opened up a long or short position but i want to be opening up a new trade on bitcoin and if i'm going to be doing so guys you can be following me on my copy trading account and if you want to be doing so you have to sign up an account using the link below to deepcoin because deepcoin is the next exchange that i will be using to trade bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in the upcoming bull run if you want to be trading yourself go to the link description and if you want to be following me with my next trade also you have to sign up an account using the link below in order to follow me but going further in towards the content i mean honestly for bitcoin I want to be opening up a long position right now, but I think there are just a little bit too much of a risk in the market for me to open up a long here. So what I will be doing, this is my trading strategy. I will wait a little bit here before we're going to get potentially a correction or we're not going to get a correction at all. And then I will benefit from it from my spot position. But if we were to be getting a correction, then is uh, I'm going to be opening up a new long position on Bitcoin. So let's see how it's going to be playing out here. But currently on the four early time frame, if I were to be looking at my next support targets, I think that the 50,000 US dollar level is going to be a big support target. The 48.4k is going to be a big support target. And on the weekly time frame, guys, the weekly candle close for Bitcoin is going to be super important because, yes, it really depends about where the weekly candle is going to be closing for Bitcoin. Potentially, we're breaking above that golden pocket resistance on the Fibonacci, time, on the Fibonacci weekly time frame. 
and that would mean of course a super bullish confirmation for bitcoin and yes a bullish confirmation on, on the weekly time frame for bitcoin could also mean we're going to consolidate a little bit here but for sure i am very bullish on the longer perspective on bitcoin and there is no reason to panic at all here on the short term but if we were to be getting a correction that is my strategy I am going to be opening up a long position and I'm not going to open up a short or long right here because I feel like it is too risky to be opening up trades in this region right now. Also yesterday, Bitcoin set a new ultimate high against the Japanese yen. The Japanese yen is the third largest world currency and to form a new all-time ultima against the Japanese yen, it is actually quite massive for Bitcoin. And no one is really talking about this, but this is definitely very massive news for Bitcoin. Also, on the weekly time frame, Bitcoin is indeed just trading against this massive resistance. And we're just like looking like we're just pushing above this level. Bitcoin is right now also back in towards that trillion US dollar market capitalization. What is also quite a very good rank in my opinion. And it's closing in to potentially overtake the valuation of Meta once again. What is also quite massive in my opinion. Further on, on the weekly time frame, we can see that basically we're right now out. What is it like 10 weeks out before the Bitcoin uh, halving? And once the Bitcoin halving is going to be there, of course, we're going to go with even a bigger scarcity effect. There's going to be less produced for Bitcoin. And after the halving, I believe the real Bitcoin bull market is going to get started. And right now what we're getting is just an appetizer before that big Bitcoin bull run is going to be starting. So this is the time to be preparing yourself. This is not the time to be panicking. And once again, guys, I'm not necessarily bearish on Bitcoin, but I want to be pointing out that there are some risks in the market right now here and that we are potentially going to get 1.3 billion US dollars in sell pressure from Genesis. So yeah, very important news, very interesting data. But of course, as long as we're seeing these huge numbers flowing in towards the market through these Bitcoin spot ETFs, I will expect that Bitcoin is going to continue to to push upwards and maybe it's gonna even surprise us and push up towards new autumn highs so make sure to look at the data make sure to follow me on twitter as well because i share the data every single time on real time about these etf flows and that way you will be on top of the game so this was it for me in today's update video thanks so much for watching make sure to do a lot of research in this market because yes the markets are changing a little bit due to these etfs so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys back on tomorrow's update video peace out goodbye